Hi everyone, my name is Wu Peng from China. I'm currently an associate professor at Sudo University. First of all, I would like to thank to the conference committee for offering me the opportunity to give a talk at the webinar. Today, I would like to share you my research on the designing in visual digestion models and their applications in food digestion studies. As we all know, food is the life of the people. With the increase in the with the improvement of living standards, diet-related disease has been increasing year by year. Take diabetic for example. It may be more effective to prevent these pathologies rather than cure them. Since God is the interface between food and the human body, and the Food digestion is an important aspect for human health, since digestion in the gut can release food components that can have a beneficial or a deteriorate effect on human health. However, the mechanism of food disintegration in the digestive tract remains unclear, and the digestive process has been considered as a black box so far. Therefore, it is extremely important to increase our knowledge on food digestion, to increase our knowledge on the effect of food on human health, and then to develop the next generation of healthy food products. Okay, I mentioned earlier, food digestion is mm, very crucial for human health. An important, important question is how to investigate food digestion process. Ideally, food digestion should be performed in vivo on animals or humans. However, it is not always financially, technically, and ethically possible. Seeing in vivo mm, experiments are time-consuming, high cost with poor reputability due to the significant variation in individuals. More importantly, in vivo experiments have ethic restrictions. In contrast, in visual digest models are more convenient in sampling, labor and cost effective, and then can help reducing the number of animals slaughtered for in vivo tests. Anatomically, the human digestive tract mainly includes the mouth, the stomach, the small intestine, and the large intestine. Now, each of the digestive organs has its own size, morphology, structure, and functions, as shown in this table and the picture. There are many in vitro digestive models already reported in the preferred publications around the world. However, most of them are oversimplified the physiology of the digestive tract and fail to simulate the dynamics of food digesting process in the gut. Particularly, the morphology and anatomic structures of the digestive organs are now, mostly not considered, not even ignored in most of the in vitro digestion models as shown in this slide. As you can see, the in vitro digestion models are not like a real human digestive stomach or intestine. In fact, from the perspective of chemical engineering process, the human digestive tract can be cons can be considered to comprise a series of of bioreactors involved some typical unit operations of chemical engineering, such as grinding, membrane separation, absorption, and so on. The mouth 
functions like a grinder and a mixer to break down the food into small particles by oral mastication. The stomach is like an agitated tongue to mix and break down the food into smaller particulates by um, peristalsis. The small intestine can be considered as a tubular reactor where the nutrition, the nutrient of release and absorption take place with the aid of digestive enzymes and peristalsis. Following the principles of biochemical reaction engineering, our team, led by Professor Xiao Dongchen, has dedicated to the development of the near real in vitro digestive system. Since 2003, the key idea is to make the organs involved as realistic as possible following the morphology, anatomy, motility, and biochemical environment of the digestive tract. This shows the development history of the individual right stomach system. From simple to more complex in structure and functions, which are developed at different stages. This shows the several generations of the near in vitro human stomach systems. As we can see, the human stomach model is made of a silicon rubber material with excellent properties. This is the inner mode of the human stomach model with many wrinkles on the surface which are very similar to the structure of uh, the real human stomach. We also applied 3D printing technology to help fabricate the human stomach models with uniform size and structures. This shows the latex version of the individual human stomach intestine system. As we can see from the picture, the system mainly consists of the esophagus, girls, stomach, duodenum, small intestine, and the colon, and also um, equipped with uh, uh, the, the driving system to produce contractions on the digestive organs. This shows some key features of the in vitro digestion system. We are proud to say that the in vitro digestion system is maybe one of the most physiologically relevant dynamic in vitro digestion systems in the world. This video shows the operation of the system. We can see a series of rollers are uh, equipped to produce persistative contractions on the stomach wall to simulate the peristalsis. We also used a minimal mini camera probe for real-time monitoring of the mixing and the structural breakdown of food particles during digestion in the stomach. This shows the digestion of skin milk in the stomach model. And this one shows the beef stew during digestion in the stomach model. It's very interesting. And also, I'm very glad to share you that uh, in future digestion systems developed by our team has been commercialized since 2018. And after 15 years hard work, the NERD stands for the Near Real Digestive Track. It's a version of the in future digestion systems that are sold 
in Europe, including the human adult model, the human infant model, and the rat model. More information about the nurse can be found on the website of our cell regions, cell region in agent in Europe following this link. Currently, the dynamic in vitro systems have been widely used in the field of food nutrition, microbiology, pharmacy, and other disciplines by over 40 research institutions at home and the world. Here are some um, typical case studies performed in the past several years using the in vitro digestion systems for food and oral drug testing. There are many different kinds of food testing, such as the, the noodles, bread, rice, milk, cheese, yogurt, and so on. Uh, the following next, I will present two case studies focusing on the in vitro digestion of elderly using the, the digestion system. As we all know, the world is getting older and older. The full digestion plays a vital role in the elderly nutrition and health. A large number of evidence have indicated that aging is usually accompanied by a, a series of physiological changes in the digestive tract. For example, in the stomach, the prostate movements in the elderly are lowered and the pepsin levels are reduced, while the pH gradient is higher compared to the adults, young adults. Similarly, in the small intestine, the prostate movements are also lowered, and the transistor is usually longer than in the young adult. And so it's very interesting, interesting and important to study how the physiological changes can affect the behavior and, and mechanism of food digestion in the elderly. Seeing it is very crucial for developing healthy food for the elderly in the future. First, I would like to introduce um, the first case study using the in vitro digestion model to study the gastric digestion of uh, Sampa in the elderly. Sampa also known as Zanba in Chinese, is highly nutritious and has been a staple food of Tibetans for thousands of years. Zanba is made from roasted highly Thailand barley flour mixed with salty butter to form a dough. It's very nutritious compared to some some common cereals in terms of uh, the protein and the fiber. Currently, there are no, there are no study reported on the digestive behavior of uh, Samba, especially in the elderly. In this study, we use the in vitro digestive model to simulate the digestive environment of the elderly and the young adult as a control. And the results indicated that indicate a higher gastric retention ratio for the elderly. This suggests a delayed gastric opening of samba in the elderly compared to the adult, young adult. And the start hydrolysis was increased. However, the peptide release was decreased under elderly conditions. The delayed gastric emptying rate and the impaired protein digestion are supported by the greater digestive rheology and the denser microstructures of the sample digester during digesting in the stomach. 
for the elderly model. Okay, so I, the next, the second case study focused on the application of the individual digestion system, system for assessing the elderly digestion of silk milk, skim milk. Similarly, similarly, we use the individual digestion model to mimic the digestive tract of the elderly and the young adult. As can be seen from the apparent images and the confocal micrographs of the milk digester in the stomach, more blood clusters and protein aggregates fall under elderly digestion conditions, particularly between 16 and 120 minutes. You can see there are still many clusters or aggregates at the end of the elderly digestion. digestion. Okay, from this uh, gastric emptying curve, we can see the gastric emptying half ten was well, 22.5 and 226.5 minutes in the young, adult, and elderly model respectively. This indicates that the gastric emptying was delayed in the elderly since the half time was, was longer than the young adult model. The degree of protein digestion at the end of digestion reached about 42% in the young adult model. However, the protein digestibility was, ab was about 37% in the, the elderly model. As seen from the SDA page analysis, we can see the milk proteins, especially the beta-lactoglobulin, was more resistant to hydrolysis under throughout elderly digestion, as seen from the, this figure. You can see still with a very heavy fence is residuals in the elderly digestion model. Okay, so this study um, is very important for future development of uh, milk-based products for elderly. Okay, that's all my presentation. Thanks all for your attention.